Hi, real estate agents. Welcome to the Weekly Closer. I'm your host, Jeff Underwood, along with my co-host, Joey Sampaga. The man with the plan. How are you doing, Joey? I'm fabulous. How are you? We're doing great. Hey, we are the real estate marketing maniacs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Love it. Hey, we've got a great guest with us here today, and this is uh, a guest with one of our sponsors of the show. Yes. Uh, from F- Fidelity National Home Warranty, and that's Robin Brand. How are you doing, Robin? I am wonderful today. Good. Well, thank you for joining. My yeah. pleasure. Stopping thank you by for the... being a sponsor. We, oh, oh, yeah. We love our sponsors. Yeah. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. that you do. Yes, indeed. That's yeah. how the world turns. You that's know? right. That's right. <laughs> so thanks for stopping by the studi- studio. Uh-huh. We're going to have some fun. You bet. All right. Uh-huh. So let's first, I guess, uh, let the audience, mostly real estate agents listening into the show, uh, know who you are, uh-huh. how long you've been with, uh, you know, in this crazy business of home warranty, right? Yeah. And then, and then maybe... How did you get introduced to it and, and get started? Right? Actually, um, I've been in the business 26 years in the home warranty business. I've been yeah. an affiliate of the local real estate uh, uh, community almost 30 years. But somebody came and found me, and I was working at a real estate magazine. You know those old uh, magazines that you used to find in the yeah, grocery like stores. Yeah, like the real estate book. And some right, of those right. Well, the real yeah. estate book wasn't around. Maybe that then. wasn't around yet. No, this okay. is one of either Homes Illustrated, Harmon Homes. Got it. And, you know, so I was slogging away at that. And, you know, publishing doesn't care if you're tired, hungry, or sick. That book is going to go out on time. Right, right. So um, I was there for about three months, and I had the northern part of the valley. Somebody else had the East Valley, but I had everything north of the Salt River. Sure. And so I – this was back when before computers kind of came mainline, you know, mainstream. And so we had to go around and stuff the boxes yeah, yeah. for okay. deadlines. Right. And evidently, this one person took notice, and they started asking their agents, you know what, um, who would you think about for a, a representative for a home warranty company? And I guess my name kept coming up. And so wow. they called in the proverbial, um, are you happy? <laughs> and yeah, it's yeah. like, no because I inherited quite a mess. And I said, I tell you what, um, no, I am not happy and thank you very much for the opportunity, but I can't leave this in this condition. So I said, I tell you what, um, I gotta do this at least a year, I gotta give it a year. And if the job is still available, um, we'll talk. You know, well, what are the chances of that, right? Yeah. So I slogged through the year, but I called them on August 1st, 1991. Job is still available, hit the pavement, running, box of cards, um, it's just a, not a very exciting brochure, but I already had the clientele, you yeah. know, with the magazine. Right. And it, it's just been a wonderful ride. It's been a lot of fun. And, um, y- you know, people think, well, how can you have so much fun if you're in the complaint business, you know? <laughs> and it's like, well, it's just how you look at it. We solve problems. Yeah. But we save people a lot of money. And for let's see a single family residence under 5,000 square feet $425 for our best plan washer dryer refrigerator 110 repair replacement no age restriction that is the best money well spent here in Arizona I personally have had investment property I would not rent a property to a tenant without the protection of a home warning plan yeah. because for that kind of money my air conditioning unit is fully covered repair replacement uh, in fact, Fidelity just replaced a, 20, a 21-year-old Goodman air conditioning unit. We don't care how old it is. It, if it works and yeah. it fails due to normal wear and tear, we're going to give you a new one because the parts, it, it wouldn't make financial sense right, to replace right. that or uh, just repair it. So I got a new one. And, and so that's the whole point of these things is to protect your out-of-pocket expense should something sure. major happen. Sure. And there's people that, oh, you know what, those things don't pay. And it's like, well, it depends who you're with because like we were talking about earlier, right. not all home warranty plans are the same. And don't shop by price because you get what you pay for. Right, right. Here at Fidelity, we have five, six representatives and we all have our little areas and every single every single representative on the Phoenix Fidelity team is top-notch, professional, seasoned, been in the business a long time, takes the calls when they come in, irons that, we go above and beyond because sales reps are sales reps. And that's what our focus is, but sometimes you get this boomerang come, Robin, can you help me with this? 
and it's a double-edged sword you want to keep the business yeah but then it cuts into your sales time so it's a fragile balance but that's why fidelity is one of the top um, home warranty providers here in the phoenix area and that's why our our sales and market share keep rising right. because of the professionalism of the sales representatives and the backup uh, that we yeah, have I would behind think us. That the name Fidelity, right? I mean, I think that the name itself or the brand, um, no pun intended, Robin yeah. brand. Right, I know. He he he. There we go. Um, <laughs> There's something to be said for that. There is. Right? There is. There's a lot of credibility here. And what's so funny is all of us representatives, we were all under another umbrella at one time or another. And you talk about strength when, you know, the the gal from American Home Shield, um, the one from First American, me from uh, RPM, BPG, Land America. Um, those those are some strong companies yeah and now we're all working together under the fidelity umbrella that is one strong team right one strong team and you know but we get up every day um in fact our our supervisor you've met her tony yeah. tony mccarty Absolutely. i mean she's she is blessed she firecracker does, yes she is <laughs> and you know she doesn't have to cattle prod anybody to get up and get out because it's, we're a seasoned group and we know what we need to do and she gives us the room to do our job but she's there if we need her. Uh, tony you have a few minutes i right. got a question or something i want to run by and right. she's right there for us and um but you got that kind of backup because i've been the uh, lone wolf on the desert by myself you know elsewhere and yeah it you know the buck stops here with me and i had to make a decision one way or another but it's nice here to have the support back behind and with Tony and everybody else. Um, that that says a lot yeah, right yeah. there. So. Do you want to share with the agents um, maybe a little bit about the types of home warranties or what you're seeing that uh, seems to be one of the, 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 I guess, the best offering that you guys yes yeah sure um fortunately we're very simple we have okay. two plans yeah standard oh, which good. is a base plan good. and the comprehensive plus plan which is the better plan if you have investment property or just for your own personal residence or your clients get that one okay. that one is the one that um you know leaky faucets broken garage door springs haul away or disposal of old equipment, water heaters, appliances, air conditioning units, because who wants to come home and see that ugly water heater, you know, sitting at the top of the driveway or wherever? Well, well, what, what is this? And it's like, oh, well, you got to haul that away. Well, I don't have a truck. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and then everybody with tr oh, we're busy. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> That's kind of like when you're moving, you know. And, oh, we're busy this weekend, Robin. You know. So, um, but but that is for four twenty five right now, all inclusive repair replacement, no age restriction. Uh, we don't charge for the Freon, the refrigerant. And this is what people say, oh, well, that's in the fine print. And it's like, well, you know what? You got to read yeah. these things. Oh, yeah. Just like you got to read and a real estate contract. And people, well, sign here, sign here, sign here. Well, wait a minute. I'm, I'm going to read this. We don't ask on the warranty side. We don't ask people to sign anything. Yeah. We give them the brochure. This is what you're going to get. You close escrow maybe two weeks after closing you're going to get your actual declaration page of coverage which is your legal document for the home warranty um it, and then it, hopefully they read that yeah um what we cover is in regular print what we don't cover is in bold print but oh no that's still the fine print but the comprehensive plus plan is the best plan to get okay. um condos these are residential we don't have a commercial plan um Got it. they are 12 months in length they are renewable they are transferable, um, so there's there's no way really to lose unless you choose not to listen or yeah. read. Right. And you know how people have an idea, and regardless of what you're telling them, they're still going to run with what they think. Right. And well, Robin, oh, you're yeah. wrong. You know, it's like no, I did not say that. It says right here. I've been, you know, you don't want to. Yeah. Well, I've been doing this all this time, and it's like, well, no. Um, it's right. the same story for everybody. It sure. doesn't change. Sure. And, sure. and like I said, we're regulated by the Department of Insurance. So every word, every price, every number that is on that brochure is read by the Department of Insurance and approved. Got it. So Got it's it. like no fine print here. It's okay. there. Yeah. Well, I'll give a quick disclaimer. The pricing that we're talking about is, is uh, as of the recording anyway, right? Because right. we don't know what's going to happen down right. the road or when somebody might listen to this. Right. Even a year from now. Right. So as of the recording, the, the pricing there. But... 
Um, and before we get into the next section here, what about, uh, I understand a lot of people are using home warranty now on new builds too. Yes. Right? Yes. So yes. to cover what, year two through five or something, years, right? Years two through five. And, and what what is nice now, there's a good price point there because it's a f- two through five, so four years, if you divide that by that much, I mean, yeah. it is less than what somebody would pay for one year. Right. But mm-hmm. the whole point is is that when those builder warranties and manufacturer's warranties and ours picks up, yeah. and I've sold a few of those, and the people tell me, you know what, Robin, um, we had to use it. And you wouldn't think, because this stuff is supposed to be new, but how did it break right and here's a quick segue and i use it often uh, my dad is 95 years old and he and my mom mom's gone now but i mean they've lived in this old ranch house for 40 years and they bought it it was two years old in the 40 years that they've lived there they've replaced two side by side brand new refrigerators hmm. okay. dad has a 1956 cold spot refrigerator freezer the kind with the ice pick and you still have to uh defrost it that way two prong uh not even a ground wire on there and the old black striped cord that was common with toasters Mm -hmm. (laughs) that thing is still clicking along every time i go home i go look at it's like hey dad what are you gonna do oh it's fine you know there's a case of beer in there and hors d'oeuvres or something for you know old hickory farm stuff and it's like okay i next time i go there i'm bringing my own ice pick and i am going to defrost that (laughs) but the fact that he's abused it it hasn't been taken care of and it's still humming along and they don't build things like that anymore so that's why the builder warranty you cannot be sure sure well it's new it's only two years old i don't need a warranty well maybe you do yeah but we're there yeah and all and right. so yes that's okay that's the scoop on those cool cool yeah. Yeah. all right so are you ready to get in the ring yeah let's get in the all ring right. get in the ring with the maniacs we'll do a little bit different uh than what we've done in the past with some of the rapid fire stuff why don't we before we were uh started this recording you were talking about how important it is that agents really build these relationships now, even in your business right, right. Mm-hmm. belly to belly right face to face right let's talk right right yes. and then also uh so share with us a little bit about that and kind of your thoughts about how really that's the best way to well, build a relationship. And, it, and wearing the name tag right well, exactly so. in fact you know some of the, one of the common things out on the street is don't be a secret agent you know and a lot of people are getting their um their agency shirts embroidered so they don't have to wear a name badge Um, it's embroidered the logo is on there and their name is embroidered on there also and they're going out and this is new this is new they're going door to door on a saturday morning let's go door knock and make some friends maybe they're going to have an open house yeah fidelity has these uh little door hangers hey i'm having an open house from uh from uh, two to four, but a secret peek for the neighbors. For the neighbors, yeah. yeah. Like, uh, we'll let you in at 11 o'clock right. for a little sneak preview. But, you know, you do those, and maybe at some agents that I know, they'll go to yard sales. Maybe they'll host a yard sale. Let's right. have a neighborhood yard sale. Or they'll organize maybe. Oh, gosh, we did this when I was a kid. You know, you have a 4th of July parade and get the kids to decorate the bicycles and then have door prizes for who's got the best bike. Get involved with the community. This is all old-fashioned, but today to some people, this is new. Yeah, yeah, And And so, you know, you hear about, well, what's the best app and what's the best this, that, and the other. You know what? Those are tools. But like we were talking about, wear your shirt, wear your name badge, get out, go to Starbucks, go, go to Subway, go someplace where the people are. And, and just be friendly. I meet more people. I, I did a deal one time pumping gas at a Circle K, <laughs> you know? And uh, it's it's amazing if you're out and you're open and you like people and you want to help, you know, like we were talking right. about, let the yeah. fish swim to you, Absolutely. yeah, you know? And they, and they will because there's so many people that are just, they're not happy. Yeah. And if, well, gee whiz, I want to tag along with that person because they're happy. I want to know what's making them happy. That's right. You know, I need some of that, so. That's, All right. Yeah. What's yeah. this? How about some uh, the best advice that anyone's ever given you? You want to share any like a get up and do it. Just right. do it. I mean, I mean that's so old. I mean, Nike yeah. uh, copy wrote it, but mm-hmm. but still they copied just, you on it. What? Well, no, I'm just teasing. <laughs> yeah, no, but I mean, just if you want it, it starts with you. Yeah. Um, maybe people will help you along the way, but you got to turn your own wheels yeah, for sure. And I I was raised that way, and I'm thankful. My parents they they kept us in a lane, 
and it's like we're here yeah but you got to do it that's right so, no, that's great yeah okay so this is the mask and i'm going to have you draw a question from the mask oh good i'm, I'm glad you didn't ask this me to is put it on beautiful <laughs> what is that velvet all right <laughs> oh okay who is my favorite actor actress yeah. I tell you right now, it's a toss-up. I'm a Blue Bloods fan, so uh, either Tom Selleck or Donnie Wahlberg. I love Blue Bloods. Oh, my gosh. One of my favorites. I have missed that show for seven years, and then somebody told me about it, and it's like I, I started watching it, and yeah. it's like, how did I miss this? My wife likes that show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's it's, it's, it's it's a good – I like the Sunday dinner yeah, at right. the end, and everybody right. talks, and everybody's respectful. No electronics at the table. Mm-hmm. And agree to disagree respectfully. Right. I yeah. mean, that's there's a lot of, and you know what? What I like about it too is, Tom Selleck is obviously the commissioner. He's got a very high mm-hmm. profile, and he's conflicted sometimes, as we all are when we have to make a decision. Yeah. Is it fair? How many people is this going to impact? Yeah. And I watch it, you know, not only for the action, but those kinds of things. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, the family values and right. all that. So, yeah, yeah. definitely. So. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here and oh, sharing. my pleasure. Boy, this has gone way too fast. We've yeah. had a lot of fun. <laughs> we have. Yeah. What part of the valley are you working in? Uh, well, I'm kind of the sprinkles on the donut. Okay. You know, I mean, when... Um, <laughs> That's the good part. <laughs> well, yeah, when Fidelity acquired my previous company, okay. um, the territories were already set. Got so it. Uh, Tony mm-hmm. was tasked with, well, how do you work Robin in? And so some offices I share with some of the other representatives, some I have on my own. But, you know, we've all known each other for so long, and and it's worked. In fact, I'm going on three years, February, with this acquisition. And, you know, everybody's, you know, crewed together, you know, like on Tempe Town, like they do the crew rowing. And we're all rowing the boat in the same direction. And, uh, you know, so it's, it's been a good ride. Good. So if an agent was uh, listening into the show and they just want to connect because they love your personality or whatever, how would how would somebody reach out to you? Well, they can call, text, or email. All right. Um, <laughs> you know, I don't know if you put the how number up on the screen or what do y'all do? If you want to even share it, what's the number? Okay. Um, the it, one on here? Yeah, uh, the cell phone, 602-818-6962. All right, yeah. there we go. That's Sweet. It. Okay. Robin Brand with Fidelity National Home Warranty. Thank you so much for stopping by. And thanks for Fidelity uh, to Fidelity for being yes. one of our sponsors, too. Yeah, you it's great. My pleasure. All right, it's been fun. Okay, it actually was a really fun show. Yeah. It was. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> we can All talk right. forever. <laughs> All right. Until next time, it's Jeff Underwood. And Joey Sampaga. The Real Estate mar- Marketing Maniac. Signing off. Have a great day. Take care. Adios. All right. Good job. Good job. Well, how fun job. was that? That was fun. Well, we interrupted. Everybody's what? coming from Fidelity. Like, that is so much fun. That's oh, so much fun. Well, I mean, it is fun. You yeah, know. The Weekly Closer Podcast is sponsored by Jake Krabby, NMLS number 877141 at Academy Mortgage. Are you looking to buy or refinance a home? Jake Krabby is your mortgage professional. Contact Jake at 480-442-9291. Jake Krabby is a loan officer at Academy Mortgage, NMLS number 877141, state license for Arizona number 0920357, AZBK number 0904081, and New Mexico number 877141, Academy Mortgage Corporation, NMLS 3113, and New Mexico 01451. Call 480-442-9291, address 15333 North Pima Road, Suite 205, Scottsdale, Arizona 85260. Academy Mortgage is an equal housing...